read the problem description and make an attempt to solve this problem using recursion. Now the funeral is over and all the tears are dried up. Niggas hanging tape on the cut, getting fired up. Looking for okay. If you have made an attempt to solve this problem. To that I say, all right, all right, all right. Let's work through the Arisam problem. Size of the problem is n, where n is the length of the array. In the problem decomposition step, we reduce the size of the problem by one unit. We have two options. We can either discard the first or the last element. Let's discard the first element. The base case handles the empty list by returning zero. Let's look at the recursion diagram. The input array one, two, three, four, five. The result is 15. We can discard the first element to reduce the problem into a smaller subproblem. The result for the subproblem is 14. We need to add the first element to the result of the subproblem to get the final result. Base case ensures we don't get an empty array. Here is the code for the recursive solution for the array sum problem. We discard the first element to reduce the input size. The array size is reduced by one unit. We can trace the execution of the program using a trace table. Consider the input array A with three elements. In the first call, the first element is 1, and the array contains 1, 2, and 3. The index 1 to minus 1 discards the first element. So the next call gets only two elements, two and three. The index one to minus one discards the first element. So the next call gets only one element and the array contains three. The index one to minus one returns an empty array. This hits the base case and zero is returned. We begin to return from the recursive calls. The deferred operation addition in this case is performed. Zero is added to three. Three is added to two. Five is added to one. To return six as the final result. Sign up for your free coding interview coaching call. Fuck. Sign up for your free coaching call by going to codinginterview.coach.